What's the crack lads and welcome back to the channel today. We are going to be taking a look in detail at the South Korean AFC Asian Cup pack. Let's get straight into it and let's crack on. So we're going to go over here. Obviously we're in game. I've already spun. So unfortunately we did not get the top two picks. But we're also going to go through this pack very, very quickly. A lot of people ask me about this one. I've already covered another pack, which was this pack here. The, the Japanese one. Now, I think the Japanese one is slightly better, but the Korean pack is really, really nice as well. There's still 40 days left in this or so, okay? So, obviously, the top two are going to be Kim and Son. Obviously, Bayern Munich and Tottenham's players, okay? But there is a couple of others in here that I've, I've been getting a couple of questions about, right? So, very, very quickly, biggest problem with a lot of these cards, lads, are their lack of player skills, but their player ID kind of makes up for it. You know, you see the same with Tommy Yashu, and a lot of these players who get some really nice stats and really nice levels that they can go up. So this guy here is down as an attack and full back. I'll, I'll just be very, very quickly on him and show you the build that we've gone for. So this is the build here, 0, 7, 4, 10, 11, 3, 14. This is going to give you a fairly pacey 88, 88, and 89 stamina. Uh, so you're going to have no worries with that. Aggression is quite solid. His dribbling is quite solid. His passing is quite solid. Unless you're going to be, listen, he's not going to compete with a top class right back or left back. Um, but this guy isn't bad if you are looking for something a little bit different and you're looking to kind of empty the pack with the Korean players, okay? We already have Kim Young Guan, uh, I think featured in another video, but this card is quite decent. I mean, any card that gets a 75 speed uh, for this levels as a center back with 90 and all his defending stats is going to be pretty decent as well. Is he going to be a meta or end game or even mid game, kind of late mid game center, center back? No, I mean, he's not going to be. I mean, but obviously you won't be spinning this pack for this player. I mean, that's just not what you're going to be trying to do. I mean, again, we have that like little thing again that we don't have blocker on him. He does need a little bit of skills. That's the biggest problem with a lot of these packs, that the lack of player skills does come back to bite them a little bit, right? We do have a track back, Cho Young Wook, uh, center forward. Not a bad player either. Good acceleration. This is the, the build that we've gone for here. Uh, a nice cheeky couple of stats here. We've got 95 acceleration with 90 balance and 90 finishing and 90 offensive awareness. Kind of a hidden gem, this guy. I mean, I've seen a lot of people talk about him online um, and a bit in the Discord as well, where he's actually quite a solid player. Um, we also have our goalkeeper. Don't need to spend too much time on him. Yes, he gets 90 goalkeeper awareness and reflexes with the manager boost of plus two. But other than that, he's fairly forgettable. I mean, you won't be opening the pack for this guy because you can just get Donnarumma or Oblak or Courtois from the standard GP marketplace. You're probably going to be chasing after the top two boys. Same can be said about Chan here, who plays for Wolves. Not a bad player either you've got the balance you've got the acceleration you've got the dribbling you've got the finishing very very average card and again as we continue to look at these cards with chan here player skills like you do have super sub fighting spirit and track back acrobatic finishing but you don't have one touch pass you don't have first time shot there's a lot of stuff in this card and within these packs that they've just really depended on the player player's id and how they actually play on the pitch which isn't too bad that brings us to kim right so kim min jay obviously plays for bayern munich very, very solid. I've actually been surprised with him. I mean, he does have some excellent player skills, as you see here. Blocker interception, acrobatic clearance, aerial superiority, and man marking. But he's also got low lofted pass and fighting spirit, which is always nice if you're looking for a center back. Now, he's down as a destroyer, okay? So he's not the fastest you're going to see here compared to the likes of Tommy Yashu or any of those, okay? So it's going to be difficult to replace your destroyers. I mean, because you've got so many good destroyers to choose from. If you are a newcomer, this is a good pack to start your team with and have a center back in Kim and then have your center forward with Sun and a couple of nice pieces that you can move around and kind of get to grips with the game. It's a fairly solid card. I mean, you're going to have 90 plus in every single stat on the defense. You're going to have 82 to 80. You're going to have 85 with 10 Hag. You're going to have 85 speed with 10 Hag because he gets a plus three to speed with his manager boost. And then obviously you're going to have 90 physical contact. It's a very, very solid starter uh, destroyer in most my opinion right we also have moving down the board we have kim tae Hwan, and he's got 50 levels as a right back very aggressive good defensive stats for a starter right back passing is pretty decent his tight possession uh, is quite poor but his balance is good so you'll be able to hold off challenges speed and acceleration and stamina all into the 90s pretty decent again you're going to be let down of course by the lack of player skills which just goes without saying at this stage that a lot of these guys are going to have maybe five six skills until you come to the top two picks um same with this guy here 
Obviously, this guy is a uh, uh, right wing, and we've had a couple of Roman flanks. Now, this guy is interesting enough because he goes to 41 levels, um, and he's got some pretty decent uh, stats, especially the acceleration and the balance and the tight possession and dribbling and ball control. I would have personally liked with this build here if I was going for him because he's got a lot of player skills. He's got soul control. He's got double touch. You'd be able to get flip flap on him for ball roll, heel trick, first time shot, one time one touch pass, gamesmanship, pinpoint crossing, and super sub as well as cut behind and turn and long range curler. This is a very, very, very intriguing card as a Roman flank. Roman flanks, I'm going to be doing a video on this. Um, I think they're kind of like, I think they're not really as talked about as prolific wingers, but I think Roman flanks have got a slight uh, buff um, in the last couple of weeks that they're, they, they just cut in so effortlessly all the time with the AI just doing a lot of the work for you. And this is the build that we've gone for here, but I would potentially, for me personally, I would completely take away the pass in there and get that tight possession up as much as I could. I wouldn't even worry too much about the speed. I would try and get that passing up as much, or the dribbling up as much as I could. So you're looking at a player here that's going to have 94 ball control, 92 dribbling, 90 tight possession, 90 balance, and 93 acceleration with 85 speed if you're using 10 hag and 84 speed if you're just using a normal manager with a plus two very very solid the cards that are really dominating now if you're a dribbler and a possession based player are tight possession balance and acceleration all into the 90s with ball control and dribbling as a as a nice bonus if you get them in the 90s as well and this guy's got the works as well as some unique player skills we also have a look here at joe at cho du son Apologies for announcing the for announcing the names, lads. This is a very poor card. I mean, apart from 88 finishing, which will go to 90, it's a very forgettable card. There's no point even really discussing it. And then we also have Song, who's down. And to be honest with you, it's not a bad card, but this card is just swimming in the same pond as so many attacking midfielders in the game, lads, that are literally just... Like, this guy doesn't hold a candle, really, to Song Krasen, um, but I know a few people have been saying that he's a beast. Now, the reason for him probably being a beast is, as we've already talked about, is the importance of the player skills, right? Look at the amount of player skills that he has, including some very, very unique ones. First time shot, one touch pass. He's also got long range curler. He's got heading, even though he's kind of a, you know, well, he's 180 CM, but he wouldn't really be known for that kind of like style, I would say. True passing, pinpoint crossing, track back. Very unique kind of mixture and variety of skills, which I do like. This is what I would look for in a whole player. He's down there with 36 levels to go as well. And he's got that whole player player ID, which is going to be nice. And that playing style, which is going to be nice. But yeah, I mean, there's just so many whole players at the moment. Son Crasson would still be my top choice. But speaking of top choices, we do have Son. Sonny boy, as I like to call him. Now, the big question with Son is whether or not he's worth actually, you know, if you've got the Blitz Curler Son, just exit out of this video now. There's no point even discussing this son, boys, because Blitz Curler's son is just completely broken. I think he's the best left winger in the game. This is a goal poach and center forward son, which I think is very, very nice. You've got a load of beautiful dribbling and uh, passing and shooting player skills. You've got long range curler, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, first time shot. Double touch, scissors, feint, chop turn, track back, captaincy. His passing, sorry, I said passing skills. He doesn't have much passing skills, but you don't need to worry about that because you're playing him through the middle as a kind of a central run and gun figure, right? Very, very good. Sun is one of the best cards in the game. Every version of him does, does wonders for you. Big weakness on this card, lads, is the balance. That 78 balance is a bit of a pity, but the rest of his stats are brilliant. Like, you're talking about 90 for the attacking awareness. You're talking 86 ball control, 89 dribbling, 88 tight possession, 86 finishing, 88 acceleration. I don't think that this card is kind of like the end-end game version of Sun. That Blitz Curler Sun, I think, is just unbelievable. The one that I have. I'll show you real quick here. I mean, this is what you're comparing with if you've been playing the game for a long time. That Sun for a starter card, CF is going to be an absolute beast. But if you're talking about me having this Blitz Curler one, look at the difference in the stats. This is just insane. Like 90 in all the main stats that you could possibly want, apart from balance and tight possession. And of course, you've got that speed, kick and power, everything up into the 90s. And the Blitz Curler is just completely broken in this game. We've already given him dip and shot as well. He's 100 overall. So you're not going to compare him with here, but he is down as a goal poacher instead of this Blitz Curler here. So it is an interesting one. It's an interesting conversation. If you don't have any versions of Sun, this is definitely a really really nice card and you can kind of mix and match and get a bit lucky with these packs as well if you are lucky and you are able to get a couple of the special players it can always be worthwhile to have you know two or three from these packs so yeah that is it lads we'll do a super pack uh, next um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll get some more player packs done and i'll talk to you later don't forget to subscribe